video was taken at Tom Dodd Nursery. They had a uh, potting trailer with a roof over it that was 12 feet wide and 22 foot long. It had a generator on it that ran off of a uh, PTO. They had an old hopper that we probably built 25 years ago and we sandblasted and put a new chain in it and redid the hopper for them where he could use that and didn't have to buy a new hopper. And what he was wanting to do was to do a lot of three gallons out in the field and you can see them uh, potting the, uh, the three gallons here. They're running approximately about 32 a minute here. They have run as much as 37 a minute, but it gets too hard to get them off the conveyor belt. But what they were doing here is they had two guys planting. So you got one guy putting a plant in. You can see right here, he is uh, skipping one. He's going to the next one. And uh, this way it keeps from just tiring the people out too much. You can see the guy with a the bucket there. What he's doing is he's dibbling fertilize and they putting that uh, right into the bottom of the hole and just uh, setting the plant right on top of the fertilize. There's the generator that you can see. And he's just got a, about a 40 horsepower John Deere tractor sitting there uh, generating the uh, power. The generator is a three phase uh, generator. You can see the uh, old wagon there, Tom Dodd Nursery, the TDN. That wagon's probably 25 plus years old. And uh, you can see how good a, the machine is drilling a hole. We had a big rain here. The soil was uh, extremely wet. And uh, the machine will handle that pretty good. And uh, you can see the, uh, the liners that they're putting there, the one gallons, how dry they are uh, in comparison to uh, the soil that they're filling the pots with. Now these uh, these conveyors are easy veyors that we built uh, 20 plus years ago. I think it was prior to uh, 1992, maybe in the late 80s. We built these conveyors. Of course, they've done repairs to them, but they're still running them. They're 20 foot long each, and the belt is uh, eight and a half inches wide. It has an A section uh, V guide on it. it. Has a two and a quarter inch uh, aluminum drive rotor and a 1.9 inch uh, tail pulley that butts up to the machine there. So you can see everything being done in a straight line. It makes it simple. There's no circular motion pot track for the pots to be going around. Soil's not becoming uh, shifted to uh, one edge of the pot because of speed and the centrifugal force. Some of these pots are uh, very, very thin and it don't take much for them to get out of shape and uh, distort the, uh, the soil in the pot and make it sling out when it goes around the corners on the machine. So this way, by doing everything in line, it's uh, straight. Here can, you can see that they, they're getting some pretty serious potting done. By, uh, by using the conveyors out in the field and potting in the field, they don't have to have uh, all those wagons and all those tractors uh, uh, taking the uh, material uh, to set it down in the field. Logistically, it works out pretty good to be able to do it on a trailer if you have the room because your potty machine and your hopper is on a trailer and uh, your potty machine is under cover like that one is, so it's always out of the weather. It was pretty windy here. What they're going to do is they're going to um, put some boards around the top of the tubing that goes around on that trailer and they're going to put some shade cloth on it so the wind don't blow so bad but we just set this machine up about a week ago over there if you're interested in an easy potter potting system just give us a call at 251-649-6466